Welcome to Christ Lutheran Church's Daily De a Video Devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing from Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Today, let's consider some words that Jesus spoke. They're recorded for us in Mark chapter 13, verse 31. And there, Jesus simply says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. People have always been curious about the exact day when Jesus will return in glory and bring about the end of the world. In this chapter, Jesus' disciples ask him about it. They want to know any specific signs that might give believers a heads up that the end is about to happen. But when you read carefully what Jesus says to them, you'll notice that Jesus doesn't really mention anything unusual. The way Jesus describes it, basically things will be as they've always been. There'll be wars and natural disasters, famines and persecutions. Children will hate their parents and so on. Uh, one thing that'll be different is that New Testament age believers will not stay put in one place like Old Testament Israel did, but that they will be sent throughout the world with his message. And, and of itself, that's not exactly a sign of the end. It's more of a promise that Jesus is making. Jesus' point is, we're living in the end times right now, and we have been for 2,000 years. The world will continue its miserable existence until all of a sudden, boom, the sun and moon go dark, stars fall from the sky, the universe is shaken, and, and Jesus, along with the angels, will appear. And it's all like in an instant, uh, and it's the end. You know, Jesus doesn't really want Christians to be searching for signs of the end. Why not? Well, one reason is if things are going well, Christians might relax their vigilance in being serious about their faith. They might let their guard down. They might lose their faith. And if things are going really bad, maybe worse than a Christian ever saw or experienced in his lifetime, Jesus doesn't want that believer to become so terrified that they despair of God's love and, and walk away from faith. And so Jesus gives the best advice, and he mingles it with a divine promise. He says, heaven and earth will pass away. He's saying, don't ever think otherwise. The end is a reality. It is coming. It might happen within the next half hour. And he also says, my words will never pass away. Which is his way of saying that all that you need for your faith, for your comfort, your encouragement, for your strength, your hope, you will find in God's word. He's promising that he will see to it, that his word will endure throughout the history of the world. It will never disappear. It will always be there for you. Always be ready, therefore, for the end. And don't be afraid. Amen.